So at the end of the last video, we were running into a problem where people started to die due to lack of food. And I think we're finally past that little hiccup that we had there. I still have zero food stored, but there's a little bit more that's going on here. Our gatherers are getting some stuff done. Our hunters are starting to produce some food. Our farms look like that they're going to actually produce this year, including our pecans, which are finally going to start outputting some food for us. I do need to start making some more fields, and I need to start getting tools up and going. The problem is, is I'm running out of laborers. So, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different today. While I can, I'm going to come in here and go into town services, and I'm going to look into building our town hall. I know this is crazy 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 early for us to be building a town hall i know that seems ridiculous and honestly it kind of is for us to be going through and building this already but but if i build this i'm gonna start getting nomads and if i get nomads i can start adding nomads to workforce may or less it's going to give me more laborers it's going to make it so i can increase my numbers of farmers it's going to make it so i can increase my number of builders it's going to increase everything that i need in order to continue with this successful village now i've been thinking about coming over here and building another zone up here and maybe making this like a mining area i want to see if i can build a mine on this hill that's right here I've been thinking about coming down over here and building a whole nother section over here. I want to start to make little towns that have, well, more or less abundance of little food productions or specializations, more or less. Get some little different areas that have some specialization. Oh, well, look at that. Lots of firewood stored up. Our food stores are kind of junk. Can we get this harvested, please? Wow, our harvesting is not going so good. We're definitely going to start losing crops here, which is a, a lot of a bummer. I think I might need to move this, uh, this storage barn. I might need to build a second storage barn right over here by these farms and definitely start getting some more farms going. I'm actually going to add another farmer here. Uh, if I do that, I can add another farmer. There we go. So that way, next spring, we could start getting even more. We got 604 potato, or 604 food. We're doing okay. I, I'm, I'm not going to say we're doing good, because honestly, we are not. We are not doing good right now. We are still suffering from lack of food. We are definitely suffering from lack of tools. It looks like that the blacksmith is finally starting to get through and create some of those tools for us. But... We're going to run into another problem here very soon, and that is the fact that we do not have any more laborers. We don't have laborers, so that way we can't go through and make things like a uh, tailor, because I literally cannot put in a tailor workshop right now because I don't have any people to work it. Look at all these builders. That I still need eight builders to finish up building these houses so we can start having more kids. Look at this house. This house is full. As soon as we put that in there, boom, it filled up a whole bunch of people. And here goes the builder building us up another house here. Ah, man, they're, they're really trying. All right, it's early spring. Get to planting, please. 556 food with... Uh, that's not the best, but there's it's decent. It's a decent amount of food. Can we get some more tools here? How many have we produced so far? So, so far we've produced 10. That's not terrible. I'm definitely looking forward to when that's like... 100. <laughs> so that way we can start selling them. There we go, look at that. Now the, now the total number of citizens without tools is really starting to go down. Okay, so that's going to make people more... Productive. Is having that. Alright, good. I have my backup food back with having enough sheep there that I can cull them if I needed to. Very good. These guys are planting. The squash yield looks good. The potato yield looks okay. At least there. Okay. How in the world is the blacksmith, the one that's making the tools, how does he need a tool? Like, what, what, what is going on? And why is he going all the way up there? Do you live up here or something? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. 
Okay. Well, it is what it is. At least we only have seven people that are missing tools, and it looks like that our farms are coming together not too bad. The fact that we're in late spring and we're already at, like, 36%. Ooh, that crop field is not doing well. Only 21%. We're already getting into early summer. Whew. Hey, look at that. All of our stuff is delivered over here. Now we just need the builders to come over here and get this built. As soon as the builder comes over here and actually gets this done, then we can start getting nomads in, and then we're going to have a population boom. That's what's going to end up happening there. So everybody's out of the boarding house, which is fantastic. So now it looks like all of our people are living in the houses. We have a couple people who are going to be having some kids in these other houses. But I feel like I'm going to need to add some more. I feel like I'm definitely going to need more houses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to rotate this around. Um, Is that the house that I want? Let me go with that house. Oh, house cannot be placed in that location. There we go. So we're already having more kids, which is grand. Let me get uh, let me get some roadage over here. There we go. Get some roadage that goes down here. I might be able to put a small stockpile in that area right there, too, which I would absolutely adore to do if I could. Nice. Nice little stockpile right there. Very good. All right. All right. A little bit more storage space there. And you got to, like, 60%. You got not too bad, actually. You got pretty good... Overall, it looks like that our food food yield is coming up. This just needs a little bit more building, and then it'll be done, and I can start looking at census data. And that is an important thing to do, because that's going to tell you how much food you're actually producing. Wow, that's a lot of pecans, too. Hey, nice. Already got more than last year, which is good. Ah, there's that. Okay. Let's take a look here. Uh, food-wise, we produce 2,000, we'll use 1,600, uh, used in one year is 2,400, so, hey, now we're actually looking at, that's actually not too bad, look at that, we're, we're gonna use around 2,400, we, so we have around 5,000, we have around 5,000 right now, okay. So that's about the food that we're going to get, I'm assuming, is around five grand, which is not too bad. Oh, man, we got an early winter again. Gotta hate it when you see it. Okay, there's another couple people there that have a house, which means I think our housing situation is getting pretty stable now. We're going to start having some booming of some people. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try to put... A graveyard back here. I know that seems a little grim, putting it right behind the town hall like this. Our cemetery. Let's see if I can. Let's see, I can either go 11 by 12, 13 by 14 by 6. No. Well, let's just do a 10 by 10 back there for our cemetery. Just put that in so that way we have uh, a nice cemetery back there. Because if people die right now, which a couple people did die, uh, if they do die right now, it's going to make it so our people are going to lose morale. The other thing I'd love to work on right now is a new pasture. I mean, I could get myself just an absolutely massive pasture. Let's do 25 by 15. Let's just get a big old pasture put in there. It's a lot of wood for me to make that, but then I can split my sheep, put them over here, and start massively producing a lot of sheep. All right, let's check to see if we have nomads. Nope, no citizens are requesting citizenship at this time. Oh, look at all the seeds we still have left to get, and livestock and stuff. We still got a lot to go. My hope is, is that I can get some chickens down the line, leave my sheep here, because sheep produce mutton and 
uh, and wool for us, so I wanted them to have a bigger pasture. But I also want to have chickens because they produce eggs and meat, and the chickens can go in here, and you don't need as much room for chickens. So I think that I could get probably like 15 chickens in here and a bunch of sheep over here, which is going to give us plenty, plenty of room. Okay. How are we doing? Honestly, not too bad. I think I have time. I have enough people now. I got six laborers. I have enough people now to go through and make up my tannery or tailor, more or less. There we go. I'm going to put that right there. Get myself a nice road that's going to come out and go around this. And maybe I'll put it... Um, no, because isn't that part of the forester's area? Yeah, that's right outside the forester's area. So maybe I'll put in another farm right here. I need to keep growing my number of farms. Do another 10 by 10 right there. And then I'm just going to grab a road and bring it out here like this. And then what I'll do is I'll just increase our number of farmers and change this one back to squash. There we go. And now that's working away. Very good. Because I can guarantee you that very, very soon here, we're going to end up with some nomads. And as soon as we end up with nomads, it's going to boom my population, which means I'm going to need even more food. Which is why I'm trying to increase food here. Holy crap, I have 75 tools. I just realized I have 77 tools. Where did all of that come from? Whoa, okay, that's awesome. Apparently, we just need to have all of the tools. Um, do I want to do more farms here? Do I want to leave? I think I'm going to do some farms here and down here. And I think I'm going to leave this open for houses. So let me... Oh, what's this? Oh, no. I got a disaster. I had a crop infested by... Oh, no. Harvest it. You gotta harvest it before it spreads. Dang. I don't know what- yeah, I was gonna say, just go up there and harvest that. I'm gonna bring some road over, like this. Bring a road up like that. And then... What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to grab so Let's grab another orchard. We'll bring an orchard down here. So that's a 6x12. That's fine. A little 6x12 orchard. So if that's 12, then that means I can go... 10x6. And 10x6. Okay, so this... It's going to be pecans. going to up the number of farmers. And this one's going to be potatoes. I'm going to up the number of farmers. Very good. And then this, as soon as I get that out of there. Very good. We're going to turn that to squash. And then I'll up the number of farmers. So that's nine farmers now. So that's nine different areas that can start growing food. Now, with that... Change this to warm clothes. I'll talk about that in just a second. With that, that should be more. More than enough. For us to... Split that. Why are my sheep not? Oh, there they go. They're they're just gonna get moved over there. Twenty three sheep can be put over there. Sorry, uh, got a little lost there while I was reading that. But more or less, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the sheep over here and get them here. Boop, uh, boop. There we go. And turn that off for right now. There we go. Okay. So what the heck was I saying? All right. So yeah, uh, trying to get up more food because I'm trying to wait for me to get nomads. I changed this to warm clothes because I'm gaining wool and leather from hunting and getting wool from my sheep. So that's why I'm doing warm clothes. They'll last longer. They'll make people happier. So that's why I'm doing that. It'll make it so they can become more efficient by being outside in the winter longer. It's all around good things. 
Okay. Perfect. Now, let's do a couple other things here, like grab a road and run it down right over here. See if I can... Oh, I can't put the dirt road right there. That sucks. That's all right. It is what it is. Okay. And then I'm going to grab another stockpile because I can. I can make it too long. Let's see. What is this? It's 19. So can I do a 10 by 2 and a 10 by 2? There we go. There's a 10 by 2 and a 10 by 2. That's going to take up a lot of that room. And then I will add roads from this side and it'll be good. And we can add more houses and stuff like that. All right. We're not quite at the point where I'm wanting to put in a trading post yet. Our food stores are, are turning out to be fantastic right now. Our food stores are looking really, really, really good. Speaking of food stores, I'm gonna actually going to add in this charcoal pit. Now, there's an issue with this charcoal pit. And that is that this charcoal pit consumes wood like crazy so i'm only gonna make it so we can make 100 coal and then i'm gonna change this over assuming now we have so many tools to steel tools is what i'm going to do and i'm going to up this so we have one person working there and that's gonna slowly consume our wood all right how are we doing here i need a heck of a lot more lavers. Holy cow. I just realized how many more lavers I need. What are we missing? More leather? We're missing more leather? Where's my storage barn? Here it is. Yeah, we have 102 wool, but not crap for leather. All right. Um, I need more people. More people. Oh, no, I clicked away from my thingy. I wish there was a way to lock the windows. Like, lock this so that way I can't exit off of it. Because I hate that I accidentally do that from time to time. Ten of thirty of twenty-three. So this is going to start producing a crap load of wool. And then when they start making babies, it'll start making a crap load of, uh, what you call it, too. A crap load of mutton. Okay. There we are. It's now late spring. This is doing well. Last year it didn't produce anything. This is also doing well. Last year it didn't produce it. So 60%, 43%. This is going to be a while before it starts producing. 55, 58, 46. Okay. How's our graveyard done? Fantastic. And so let's go back on to more houses. Oh, I put the different houses in. No! I put the wrong house in right there. That's going to look silly. Oh, well. There's worse things in life that happen. It just is a little bit of a bummer. That's all. What is this pole? Is this supposed to be like a flag? A flag pole? I don't have any flags right now. All in all... I think we're doing good. Our reserve of food's low? There's 2,500 food, and we're saying the reserve of food is low. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do to try to get myself some more resources is I'm going to build a bridge. From here to here. Just get myself a wooden bridge built. Okay. Get myself a wooden bridge built. Because if I can get myself a wooden bridge built, I could come over here and give a resource reduce order to wipe out all of this over here. And that'll give me plenty more wood, plenty more stone, plenty more iron, at least for now. I'm going to switch this over to wool coats for now.
Mmm, those are filling up quick. Those are definitely filling up quick. How are we doing over here? Mm, got an old couple there. That's no good, but nobody living in the boarding house. Very good. Okay. Okay. How close are we to maturity on these? Uh, honestly, not so good. All right. Food production wise, let's check that out. Food production wise. Used 2,500, produced 5,000. So we're netting 2,500 per. Maybe around 3,000 a year right now, and we're netting about 5,000. That is not too bad at all. We got, oh, our coal's done too. Okay, good. So our charcoal, we got 100 charcoal. We have our 149 stored tools. So the blacksmith will start making steel tools now. My laborers are coming over here and tearing everything over here down, which is good. And with their warmer clothes, they're not going to freeze to death as easy. It's going to be good. All right. All in all, we are doing really good. And we're having a bunch of children. We have 12 children that have been born. Now, I don't want to build a, a school until I have like... 60 70 adults living and working uh then i can build a school because then i feel like that they'll produce enough children to uh counteract the loss that we're gonna have in time even though that technically schooled children are way more efficient than non-skilled children schooled children still i feel like i feel like that i still need to be careful Okay, so we have a lot of laborers now. We have five laborers. I'm going to pull the trigger. I said I didn't really want to do it, but I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to put in the trading post. I'm here or there about doing this, honestly. Because I feel like that it might be a wee bit early to start doing this, but I do have an abundance of tools. I technically can make a bunch of steel tools to replace the tools I have. And there's a chance I can either get chickens or cows. And chickens or cows will give me milk. And if I get milk, I can make uh, yogurt or cream or cheese. Um, but if I get, like, chickens, I get eggs and, and stuff like that. So I think that it's a good time to start working on this. I have the excess material at the moment. So I think it's a good idea to do that. Well, I have 20 extra clothes right now, too. Nice. What did I set my limit to clothes to? 150. Okay. I can deal with that. Our stockyards are not full yet, which is good. And how about our foresters? That's one thing I should check. Hang on, let me check this. Production. Logs. Current 412. Use 36. Produce 57. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's okay. That is okay. How are we doing here? Trading post-wise, we're 83% of the way there. Then we're going to start getting some trading boats in, and hopefully... Hopefully... We will start to... Get some additional things in. I need to get some sort of fruit to help my health of my citizens, giving them variety of food, but at the same time, also being able to start getting ready for a brewery. So I decided to put in another storage barn for a couple different reasons. One, we're overproducing so much food right now, right? So looking at here, our production wise, we're producing like 4,000 food a year, if not higher. Like last year, we produced 6,000, right? And we're only consuming 3,500. So, or 3,687, I should say. But we're going to start filling our store, our single storage barn that we have with a bunch of food. And on top of that, with all the clothes that we're producing, with all the tools that we're producing, and then now with all of the wool that we're producing, because this is probably making ton of wool yeah so this is making 36 wool right now and it only has half of the number 
of uh, sheep that I can hold. This pasture is going to continue to produce more and more sheep as time goes on. So we're going to continue to get more, more, uh, more wool. So, and we're going to start getting mutton too. So let me see here. Um, there's not really anything that I want to put in here yet. I think I want to wait to see what comes through before I start loading that up with stuff. What's my limit on firewood, by the way? 2,000. Okay. 2,000 firewood. That is a lot of firewood. And I don't think I'm going to need more than that for a good amount of time. Especially if I start turning all these into stone houses. But stone houses is probably like an hour or two at a minimum away. Stone houses is... Stone houses is a lot. I also just realized I have 136 stored clothes now. What the heck? I know we like blew through all of our wool that we had, right? So assuming how we have clothes now, I'm just going to change this to warm clothes, warm coats. And now they're going to wait to get leather in. And that's just how I'm going to do it. Because with a bunch of wool coats, people will be warm. People will be fine. It'll be all right. What do I have down here in the marketplace? Some steel tools already, wool coats already, iron tools, herbs, squash, all sorts of goodies. All sorts of goodies there. Huh. Still no nomads yet. Normally when I put that down, I normally get around to nomads fairly quickly. I think it's kind of surprising I haven't had one yet. But hey, it is what it is. All right. How do I... I I'm trying to, like, future-proof myself here. Think ahead. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to build a mine right here. If I can. Let me check. I think I can. I think I can. Yes, I can. I think I'm going to put a mine here. And maybe put some houses here. All the way over to here. Um, maybe another fishery right over here. Let's see if I can put another fishery in down here. That's kind of close, so I can do it maybe down here. Can I put... If I put that there, can I get a road? Oh, I can't. I can't put a road right there. But I can get a road that comes up like that. So I'm going to pause this for now. Pause construction on that for now. And I'm thinking I build houses over here. I build a mine right here. I build another market over here. Because if I was to put a market in over here. Right? That almost reaches those houses over there. Where does this market reach to? Hmm. I would be missing out on those houses right there. That's close enough, I guess. I suppose I could put, like, some more... Maybe i put a couple farms over here. I'll put a couple farms over here and I'll build the houses over this side. Can I get a... Can I get a road? That comes over here like this. I can. Perfect. Very good. So I got this road going here now. And here's my thought. I got this fishery here. I'm going to put a couple farms here. Ooh! Our first trader is here. And he has eggs and cream. But does not have chickens. So I'm going to go ahead and dismiss you. On you go. Thanks for stopping by, my guy. But uh, you didn't really help me out a whole lot there. Um, so I got that going. No nomads still. Really? All right, well, apparently I need to do some more stuff first. But like I said, I'm going to come over here and I'm actually going to clear all of this. I'm going to... Oh, is this... What, what kind of road is this? Did I really put down stone road? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. 
Oh, it's already built. It's already built. It's already built. Just put in regular road. I accidentally put down stone road. Oh, that's gonna be... That's such a waste. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go with it. It's gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it. You know what? It'll be fine. They got a little bit of a distance to walk. But anyway, I have all that being removed, and now I think it's time that I put down a stockpile right over here. A big old stockpile. Let me see. I got an 8x8 eight eight here. Let's do an 8x8. Eight eight. Six by four. And then let me also just slap in a... Can't put a storage barn right there, but I could put a storage barn right there. I'm going to put that in. So what that's going to do... Is it's going to make it so I can get this harvested up, get all these materials harvested up, bring them over here and store them here. I have this nice, now brick road, on accident, brick road that's going to come over here. I can build a nice little housing area over here, maybe put another forester up here, another hunter gather area, maybe another one over here. But I can really start to expand out some more farms and stuff like that. I'm actually going to start putting some farms down over on this area over here. So let me go ahead, I'm going to get a simple 10 by 10 here. Another simple 10 by 10 if I can fit it. Oh, I can only do a 10 by 9. 10 by 8. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, well, we'll put that in. I'm going to add another farmer because I have the people. Get that added there. Uh, make that potatoes. Apparently I had an extra farmer that was needed. Uh, right here, we're going to get those trees removed out. And you're going to become a farmer there, and I'm going to have you do squash. And that'll start getting ready to feed up these guys over here. It'll help produce a little bit more food. I know it seems like that I'm overproducing a lot of food, but once I start getting more of these people in, and we start spreading out, building more mines and stuff. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Did I mess that up? Please don't tell me I messed that up. Oh, I did. Ah. Uh, can I do it this way? No, I can't. Dang it. I'm going to have to let these go and then tear them down. Uh, maybe I'll just do a big orchard right there then. Or another sheep farm or something. Dang it. I forgot that I was going to put that mine there. That was the whole reason why I put this other village over here so I could put this mine in. Ah, oh, man. Oh, we started having people die. That's no good. That's no good. All right, well, while we're waiting to put that in there, while we're waiting for a couple more people, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get some people in here. There's a guy walking around right now with a question mark over his head. Are you walking? Let me see here. Oh, farmer, 12 of 11. There we go. Get, get rid of a farming. There we are. Okay. I don't have to worry about too many farmers. So 11 farms, 11 people farming. Lots of food. The food situation is beyond under control now. We have a whole new civilization, a whole new little town that's going to come over here and get built up. That's going to add to it. I'm probably going to spread down into this area and add some more people down here. Maybe even down here. Our tool situation is now under control. Our clothing situation is now under control. Now it's time for us to start moving on to alcohol, getting more trade going, and getting additional areas built up for us here in the next one.